Professor Savinsky, what are the arguments for thorium as opposed to uranium? Well, thorium in the very early days of nuclear energy was considered as a fuel. And the reason that it was considered as a fuel is that it's more plentiful than uranium. It doesn't need processing in the same way that uranium does. It doesn't produce waste uh, as much as uranium would do with the uranium fuel cycle. Um, and in principle, it will be a safer option for the nuclear industry. The reason that they probably didn't use it was the nuclear industry was so heavily tied to the American military that thorium doesn't produce plutonium as uranium does. And plutonium is good for making bombs. So where are we today then? We haven't used thorium in reactors for probably the better part of 30 years. There's been a complete focus on the uranium, the plutonium fuel cycle. But people are beginning to realize now that uranium probably isn't sustainable. We're going to have to breed new nuclear fuel. The nuclear fuel we will breed is probably plutonium from the uranium. If we go into the trouble of breeding, we could actually start to use thorium and breed nuclear fuel directly from thorium and use that instead without introducing plutonium into the cycle. More and more people, more and more scientists mm -hmm. are beginning to take this idea on board. Mm -hmm. um, the government need to be on board as well. Do you see uh, a movement within the, perhaps well, not this government, mm -hmm. but, but future governments? Is there a, uh, a feeling that, yes, this is a, an idea we should start to look at seriously? I, I think that people are beginning to say that, at the very least, we should have a watching brief. And what we have to remember is that there's been so little investment in the nuclear industry over the last 30 years that the nuclear industry that we have is really based around uranium. So we're talking about a major change to shift to thorium. But for long-term practical reasons, for sustainability, uh, for getting rid of nuclear waste, because you can also do that with thorium, uh, there is a suggestion that we should start to look seriously at thorium. And in fact, the governments of China and India are already doing that. We're a little bit behind the market. But the government has set up an all-party parliamentary group on thorium, and it's possible that that may recommend that we do invest in the thorium fuel cycle. You're part of the CONFORM project. Mm -hmm. um, what is the CONFORM project and, uh, and what is it hoping to try and do? Well, it may seem unrelated to nuclear, the nuclear industry in the first instance, but CONFORM is related to building a new type of particle accelerator. It's the wonderfully named non-scaling fixed field altern alternating gradient accelerator. We call our EMMA for short, the electron model for many applications. And the idea is to build a small compact particle accelerator. Now, normally, you wouldn't relate that to the nuclear industry. But what we have the possibility of doing is developing a bigger, more powerful proton accelerator. And then you can couple the proton accelerator to the reactor and use the spallation process where a high-energy proton impacts a heavy metal target to produce neutrons. And those neutrons can then effectively fuel the thorium reactor. It produces the neutrons that are necessary to create the fission. So in this respect, you build a subcritical reactor, a reactor that will sit there quite safely doing nothing until you switch the accelerator on, and then it generates energy. You switch the accelerator off, and you switch off the fission process. So CONFORM is developing a new type of accelerator. That new type of accelerator could be the prototype for driving an accelerator-driven subcritical reactor fueled by thorium. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.